Hey guys! So, there's people walking behind me right now, but um, I'm going to be doing a really fun video today for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite dresses for spring this year. I incorporated a lot of the spring dress trends and also just some of my favorite dresses to wear for spring this year, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I got them all from like different stores, so there's a big price range. So hopefully you guys like this video. I want you to leave a comment and let me know what your favorite dress is in this video below because I really want to know just like what your favorite dress is or if you don't like any of these dresses then you can just leave a comment below and let me know like what your favorite dress is that you own. So I'm like so excited for spring this year which is why I really wanted to do this video and look forward to more spring videos coming up. So I hope you guys like this one and the sun is like setting right now. I'm in Santa Monica and I don't know if you can see but the sun is setting and it is so pretty. And let's get started. That was so weird. Okay, so dress number one is flowy maxi dresses, and I've been seeing these a lot on the runway and also on the red carpet. So there's tons of different stores that sell these right now. They're very easy to get a hold of. I purchased mine on modcloth.com, and I really love the print of this one. I think it's so pretty, and also the colors are very gorgeous. So flowy maxi dresses are just a nice essential to have for spring and summer. You can wear them to the beach, but you can also like dress them up with fancy shoes and a nice clutch and jewelry and things like that. The shoes that I paired this with are are from Steve Madden and they're just some really pretty gold detailed wedges in your arms, in your arms I'll stay. So I think that these complement the dress very well but obviously you can pair it with any shoes that you would like so that is the first dress in the rain in the dark we'll lay in your arms in your arms I'll stay. So next we have midi dresses, aka mid-length dresses, which are perfect if you don't really like maxi dresses or you think that your body is not tall enough for a maxi dress, then mid-length dresses are the way to go. These are like my favorite type of dresses for spring this year. So this one I purchased on ASOS.com and I really love the color of it and it also ties at the waist so it kind of just cinches the waistline very nicely. And as for shoes, I'm wearing the same gold detailed wedges that I purchased from Steve Madden because I really love how these go with the blue also. we have the mini dresses. Now mini dresses are actually very popular for spring this year and I really love that because I think mini dresses are so cute. So there's obviously tons of different ones to get but this specific one really caught my eye. It's from modclock.com and I really love the material of it and the color. It has like this lace top and it's kind of just like tiered and then the bottom half is like this really bright orange coral color. Super pretty and it's one of my ultimate favorite mini dresses for sure so I definitely love that. And the shoes I'm wearing with this outfit are from Urban Outfitters and again I'm wearing wedges because I absolutely love wedges. So these ones are just very cute and they're tie ups and they're peep toe also so I love those with this dress. Now this one is one of my newest favorites and it is the high-low hemline dress and I've been seeing a lot of these at Urban Outfitters and tons of other stores but this one specifically I purchased from Cotton On and I just really love the blue flowy material. I think it's absolutely stunning and this dress is a little bit bigger on me so I just took this belt that I also purchased from Cotton On and I just cinched that right to the waistline. You could try to save me if you're crazy but I want to know if we go where we're going to People try to find reasons why things aren't perfect But to deny every smile and as for shoes with this outfit, I decided to wear these black wedges that I purchased from H&M. And these are very essential in my wardrobe because they can basically go with anything. So I've been wearing these a lot lately and I love them with this outfit. You gotta let it go. Ooh, afraid to fall. Ooh. 
Okay, and now this one is kind of the wild card of all of the dresses. It is the peplum dress. And I've been seeing this one mostly on the runways. I don't really see too many people wearing it, and I think that's because it is kind of a daring style to try. So I want to know what you guys think about this one. I personally think it's kind of fun. So I purchased this peplum dress at ASOS.com, and it's kind of just like a color blocking one. So the top half is navy blue, and the bottom is just a very pretty light blue. And I really love the material of the bottom part, and it's just like a nice crochet material and I absolutely love this dress I didn't really think I was gonna like it that much but I really really love it so I think peplums are definitely something that you should try out for spring and summer and as for shoes I decided to go with a bold shoe color so these are just some red wedges that I purchased from modcloth.com and they have tiny little cutouts in them and little bows so I think they're very very cute for spring and summer This one is shimmery or metallic dresses and this is kind of a fun new one also. I think it's very unique and kind of cool. So this dress that I'm wearing today is actually from Forever 21 and I think it was around $19 or $20 which is an amazing deal. So I just really love how these dresses like reflect light. I think it's so cool and definitely a fun piece to try out for springtime. And you don't really need any accessories with these type of dresses because they're kind of an accessory in their own, which I think is very cool. And as for shoes with this outfit, I decided to wear my black wedges from H&M again because I just really don't think you need very blingy accessories or shoes with these type of dresses because like I said, they're kind of like an accessory in their own. So that was the last outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you were wondering about the hair and makeup that I was wearing with the last two dresses, I actually recently did a video with Michelle Fawn and Davin here on YouTube and they did my hair and makeup for springtime. So when that video is up, definitely be sure to check it out. So be sure to let me know what you think below and also what your favorite dress is out of all of these. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! You look nice. Thank you. That was sweet. Wasp.